If you are a Revit user, you must have this plugin. Revit is incomplete without this plugin because it makes your life so much easier, guys. It these are just very small, tiny things that actually sometimes consume more than half an hour to one hour of our life. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Py Revit and the best tools that Py Revit offers. So without any delays, guys, let's get started with the video. So guys, first and the most beneficial tool that I have in PyRevit is coloring tab. I know it sounds very simple, but it helps you a lot when you're working on multiple projects together. So coloring tab, what it does is it colors specific project tabs with specific colors. For example, one project I have opened in one specific color and it will show that tab in red color, for example. And the other tab will be shown in yellow, as you can see on your screen. So it colors the tab, so it becomes very easy for you to recognize, okay, this is that project and this is that project, and you can compare them together. So it helps us a lot. Next tool is make patterns. I know it sounds again very simple, but uh, if you have worked in drafting views, if you have made patterns or hatching patterns, masking regions, then this uh, tool is really beneficial for you because sometimes we have to create custom patterns for our components or detailing and we have to go in Revit, uh, sorry, in AutoCAD, create those patterns, then bring this, those patterns into uh, ARCHICAD or bring those patterns into Revit then that process becomes very tedious. But here, what you can do is you can create your own detailed patterns in a drafting view, select those pattern and create them as a pattern for your further use in life. So it becomes a very, very helpful tool for all the architects out there. Next is pre-flight check. Okay, I know it sounds complex, like what pre-flight checks? So basically it's a model health checker when you click on pre-flight check, it will give you an option of what do you want to check. You can select the overall uh, model health and it will give you how many families are not uh, being used or basically generic families in your uh, file or in your project. It will give you how many views are not used or not placed on sheets, how many schedules are not placed on sheets and they are just lying down over there it will give you an overview health of your project. So it is not in depth. There are other health checkers that are there in market, but this is just a very quick way of understanding that, okay, I have these many views that are not placed on sheet. Why are they even there? Or uh, these many schedules like that are not there on the sheet. Why am I not using them? So these are the kind of things that uh, helps you a lot, even generic, uh, families that most of the time we don't use in a project in a proper professional companies we don't use generic families because they don't have any kind of information in it so if you have generic families you can go ahead and remove them so that becomes a very helpful tool for everyone next is color splash color splash is one of my favorite tools so uh, whenever we are checking a model or we want to segregate different elements through different colors this color splasher helps a lot. You can select this tool and then select which object you want to select and which object you want to give what colors. So for example, you can select object by type name, type mark, GUID or by their uh, sizes. So for example, I have a wall of a certain width. Okay. And I want to see where all I have used those kind of walls. I can just select that and I can see all of them and it will create a legend as well if needed. So it becomes a very helpful tool guys if you are working in a complex project. Then we have sheet maker. Uh, if you are an avid Revit user, of course you are because you are on this video. If you are a Revit user, sheet maker is one of the best tool that PyRevit offers. Uh, here you can create sheets in batch. For example, you will give a number to the sheet and then the name and you can keep doing that and just click 
create sheets and then you will have all these sheets you no longer have to go ahead duplicate the sheet or create new sheets and number them separately so that process is totally off the charts now now you can just do this directly next tool is a simple one but if again you are a revit user you know this uh, we can't copy uh, legends from one project to another in revit atmosphere but pi revit lets you do that once you click on this tool here you can see that it asks you from where to copy this legend and in which project you want to copy and just click copy and paste that's it you have the legend in the other project so it's a very helpful tool if you are into projects i know you will love this tool next is very uh, funny one uh, it's called who did that so uh, if you are a model checker or a bim coordinator or a project lead and if you have to constantly ask your team who did this why you have done this this is wrong this is right so now you can exactly know who did what in a project in a very simple way next tool is probably one of my favorite again <laughs> it is called pick tool so what it does is it creates a filter or it filters your selections before even selecting for example once you shift select on this tool or you select this tool it will ask you what to pick here just click on door for example and now when you are selecting the selection tool will just select the doors in your model which is a very very handy tool guys next is print tool yes you heard me right printing is also very difficult in revit sometimes but here you just click on print and then you select the schedule yes guys you can select a directly a schedule of your sheets that are meant to be printed and then it will print them next is show view range show view range is one of the best tools i think so for beginners who don't understand how the view range are set up or they just anyone who just wants to see how the view range are set up so for this you have to be in a 3d view then you uh, select this tool and then you select which plan or which elevation you want to have in you want to see the view range in for example i select a plan and now you can see the uh, top range cut cut plane and the bottom range here denoted in different colors so it becomes a very helpful tool to understand the view ranges next is inspect family size uh, these are for bim coordinators and bim managers because a lot of time uh, we do health checks and we want to check which families are heavy uh, this tool will help us a lot just click on this and then it creates and generates all the list of the families that you have in a project so if you have lighter families in a project then your project is very healthy it will be faster but again if you are bringing families that are like 5 mb 6 mb in size then your project overall project will bloat and it has a high chances of crashing on you next is for people who are into content development and deep into bim uh, and family making it is called cycle type very simple tool but it helps a lot so this tool can only be used when you are in a family environment and this tool what it does is it cycles into different types of a family so you don't have to uh, click on edit type then uh, see that okay i will select this this type apply and then see the changes you don't have to do that anymore you just click on cycle type and it will cycle through different types of family that are there in that specific family which is again a very good tool specifically for people who are into content development and guys this was all i hope you liked this video i hope it was helpful for you to understand why plugins are very important in revit and if you have any kinds of doubts or queries please go ahead mention it in the comment section and keep supporting archive vlogs guys please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel take care of yourself i'll see you soon bye bye